Geneva played host this year to the second Africa CEO Forum, the place to be for African business leaders, both English-speaking and French-speaking. One of the themes of the Africa CEO Forum, how to improve Africa's competitiveness. We can compete on price. We can compete on quality. Growth, yes, but not at any price. Africa actually is the most competitive place on earth. Because you guys don't pay taxes in Africa. <laughs> there were many at the Africa CEO Forum who believe in straight talking. We must look truth in the eye and act accordingly. Africa is corrupt. Yes, it is corrupt. But the reality is we need to move on. The opportunities in the agri-food industry are huge. Africa boasts 60% of the world's arable land. We are expecting a green revolution or an agricultural transformation to happen. There are opportunities to be seized also in the digital domain, where Africa is at the cutting edge and can compete with developed countries. I don't want us to think that we have to follow their footsteps. Right? We need to learn from their mistakes and we need to again leapfrog. We need to take advantage of what they've done, learn from it and skip a few steps and move on. The Africa CEO Forum is also the occasion to honor Africa's best entrepreneurs. CEO of the year, Daphne Mashidi Nkus. We carry the hopes of our communities, of our children, and above all, we carry the hopes of Africa. Promoting regional exchanges, enhancing public-private dialogue, and stimulating African entrepreneurship. For Amir Benyamed, Vice President of the Group Jeune Afrique and co-organizer of the event, the forum did exactly what it set out to do. Maintenant que le forum est installé, qu'on est arrivé aussi à, à regrouper l'Afrique francophone et l'Afrique anglophone, le prochain euh, forum sera sur le continent. Plans are in place for the next gathering of professionals and business leaders from across Africa who are driving the continent's transformation and are the best guarantors of its growth. <laughs>